Okay, so in this video I'm going to get into some eventing. Um, this is a pretty unique map um, using just like some of RPG makers like creative gimmicks to get to where you need to go. Um, of just like, you know, the pseudo 3D where it's like, yeah, you can make lines pop out so it looks like but, you know, it's still 2D. Um, but yeah, I have been working on some, uh, well, like I said, eventing. That's uh, our word for the day. We're just going to talk about some eventing. Um, I've been working on some transfers. Um, so that's my big thing that I'm doing right now. Um, adding some transfers to this map, and then um, I'm going to be going back and forth playtesting, which I just realized my screen, I am i probably didn't uh, make my screen cap window large enough to see the entire testing window for the game, so I'll just do the best I can um, for moments when I'm going back and forth there. So, yeah. The next... Uh, transfers that I'm going to be putting in are going to be these ones. I guess you can't see this entire window either. I guess I can move it down, but, you know, being able to see, like, the whole, like, priority. Um, I'll make it the same as the character and just be player touch. And then this is just going to be a transfer, so... This site is going to transfer you over to... You can't actually see it. Because I can't scroll over that far, so that's okay. You're just gonna have to believe me. So, going that way. And this map, in-game, you would never know that it's looped like that, but it is. So, that's just for my benefit. That's a nice thing about being able to wrap some of these. That you can fit a lot more on one map than you otherwise would have been able to. I'm just um, making it easier on myself that if you want to be able to have a transfer be not just on one square where I have this as being three wide, um, copy paste helps so much more than um, creating a new event every single time. Um, and then we'll try to do a uh, test run of this. This actually fits in the window pretty decently. You can still see the editor up in the background, which is totally fine. Hopefully I have this transfer. Yes. Okay, so one of the uh, things I tested was this set of squares. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Gets trapped in a battle. usually on a test map I don't have any battles but this map is not a test map that I'm currently standing on um, it's totally good to go um, as far as the game's concerned so um, it actually has enemies in it just for uh, play testers as they're going through but I don't need to be testing fighting at all so 
I was just testing these two transfer squares to make sure that they uh, do what they need to do, and they do. So, run around. Um, okay, good. We can't walk into the water or through any of those. Can't, oh, we can walk out into the sky, so I need to fix that. Okay, so it's just this edge, and okay, this type of edging is fine. So I'm glad that I caught that. That's what playtesting is all about. Okay, these edges are solid, but for some reason that one edge there is not solid. So I need to figure out what's wrong with that edge and fix that. seems like all the other right edges are fine, so there's something there that I'm going to have to figure out. Oh, maybe it's... no, it's not just the corner. Yeah, it's something about that particular edge that uh, something went wrong. I may have two of those edges in the tile set, and I used one that I hadn't set the uh, pass blah 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 for, so... Okay, so that... Oh, I guess these transfers don't need to be in there, so I did a venting for no reason. Because I looped the map so you wouldn't have to do that. So we're going to take these events out. And there's an example of not touching a project for a while. I forgot that I looped this map so that I would have easier transitions. So we'll see what those transitions look like without the uh, the transfers in there. I've sh I'm sure I've probably tested this before and. Uh, just to see what the, um, I wonder now what is in that chest. Probably something useless. So it looked like, uh, this transitions pretty smoothly. Where you can't even tell where it loops. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm really liking the way that this map turned out. Should we go all the way to the top? And you're not just like endlessly running forward, so I kind of like how this uh, ridge works, where it kind of has the effect of I am walking up and up and up, but you're not really, you're just uh, Continuing right along. We'll see what the test chests are. Ah, oh, 13W. Nothing better than getting 13W. It's generic monetary unit. Can't walk through these cracks. Why is he facing sideways? I don't know. checkpoint guard. Oh, probably because I need an item to get past him that I don't have. Maybe? That's what I would like to believe. Can't actually see this guy. Um, oh, he's just on to his next... Oh, because there are no conditions set, so I need to turn self switch A on. If you couldn't see that, as the page two condition. Otherwise, he was just defaulting to the second page for whatever reason. So, um, we'll test that really quick because 
that was a good find for a mistake. Um, because that's something that you wouldn't be able to advance in the game without, and I may not have run into that again, so. Whoops. I didn't want to go exactly right there. I forgot what I was doing while I was talking. So, we're going to test that right quick. Um, just to make sure he says what he's supposed to say. It would suck to get all the way up here and have to go all the way back with battles. The three trials. What are the three trials? I suppose that's what you need to do in order to obtain an adventurer's pass. Which you get in the town. I, uh, I'm not sure what the intention was for the three trials, but I'm sure I can come up with something. I don't think I have anyone who sells an adventurer's pass yet. The item's probably just loosely made in here as well. Oh, so it's all of my upper level check checkpoints require the adventurer's pass, so what level would that be? Hmm. If maybe level one ends here-ish. There's nothing really preventing you from going forward anywhere else, so I'd imagine that if level one ended maybe here, have some kind of roadblock, that that would be the level two designator. Is this? Nope. This. To have level one end here. Level two. So I would need an adventurer's pass to get through this checkpoint. Okay, on that map. This map. Got to have some kind of roadblock here. We'll add that in. Next. It has some kind of event where we run through all of that, and then at some point, I don't know if I want to have uh, the road maybe get a little taller here-ish. Oh, I should figure out what's up with that one. And then I get attacked by the yawns. Am I on this set? Okay, so they're all open. So maybe it's this blue color that I used? What tile set would that be a part of? Hmm. None of them, that's the answer. Because that's just the background here. Okay, so I must have deleted some squares here, and that must be why it goes through. So I'm going to have to make a clear... and that's probably going to fix my issue there. Um, I do want to go back and test that really quick. Not make a new event, but... The puppy stirs. And this could be good or bad for our progress.
Okay, so I just want to make sure that I can't walk through this guy. Okay, it's looking like I can't walk through this guy anywhere anymore, so that's the point. Um, we don't want to be walking through the sky. Alright, so I will see if I can in five minutes um, end Maybe I intended for there to be some kind of roadblock here because it's a little bit longer. Um, or I could put either somebody standing or put some of these. What does that look like? It looks like it's on the edge. Is that okay like that? Um, and then we'll have some kind of dude standing there who is the same as character. And we're going to change our graphic to some sort of random actor. I guess I have... Placeholder Knight. Is that a person that I already saw that I um, am not looking at? People. Like this guy. Is that who I had standing way at the top? Yeah. No, he's kind of a... One of those guys. I guess that would be a... Uh, I guess I don't have to use the same person. I don't want to look for a sprite. I have some kind of text that says something like... Um, I think I'm just gonna have you... Uh, pay to get through. I assume that he'll reset. Um, so this event will move. It'll turn not right, left. Move. Left. One unit. 
turn up, move up, and then turn down. And, uh, I'll throw a self switch in there. The new page that is, is he people? Self switch A has to be toggled in your conditions page. Where if you leave the map, this should reset. And if you ever, if you turn up and he'd stand like right here out of your way. something where if you ever came from the other direction he would just get out of your way where I guess I could have a conditional branch where if you hit the directionals toward that direction in order to uh, Well, I'm just going to test it as is for right now. I can uh, do something more complex with this later. I'm just doing basic eventing here, which, you know, I don't want this uh, transfer to be over there. I'd rather have it uh, be right there. We're going to change that so we don't have to walk through the mountains to get to where we need to test. Alright, so he did exactly what I wanted him to do. Oh, we can walk through these. So we could have gotten through free anyway, so I need to change those. And then I'm going to have to have some kind of, uh, if he's standing here, if you come through the back, what he would do. Because as is, he can't walk through you if you're behind him. So um, I'm going to have to have some kind of conditional branch that says if you talk to him from this side, then he will just get out of your way without you having to pay. So then if you're in the level, you don't have to pay to leave the level. You just have to pay to get through here. So I will figure that out later because I don't want this video to go on for 40 minutes while I uh, do that. It's actually pretty easy to have just directional press condition from one angle. Um, I'm just not going to do it in this video. So yeah, um, I did some eventing, some pretty basic events. Um, it worked out well, aside from when I tried to put transfers in somewhere that I didn't need them. That was kind of silly, but that's, uh, picking up a project after a long while and, uh, forgetting what you've done. So, yeah, that was some eventing and it was fun.